Welcome to Superstructures, ladies and gentlemen. Today we'll be taking a closer look at an extraordinary tale of resilience and innovation. Get ready to witness the awe-inspiring story of the $31 billion seawall to save the Texas coast, also known as the legendary Ike Dyke. In Texas, the saying, everything is bigger, holds true. From cars to food, hats to land, everything seems to be on a grand scale. This also applies to construction projects. When a new stadium or infrastructure is announced, you can expect it to occupy vast amounts of space and require significant funding. But now there's a colossal endeavor underway that tackles a surprising issue for the Lone Bar State. Despite being known as America's oil and gas capital, Texas is investing billions to protect a vital region from the escalating threat of climate change. With extreme weather events becoming more frequent and a recent disaster still fresh in memory, Texas is approaching the challenge in its characteristic manner, by going big. And when we say big, we mean enormous. If you need further proof of Texas' affinity for all things big, just take a trip to one of its cities, Austin, Dallas, or Houston. These urban centers are sprawling and impressive. However, there's a city in Texas that once surpassed them all in size, and you might not be familiar with it. Welcome to Galveston, a coastal resort that held the title of Texas' largest city during the 19th century. How did it achieve such prominence? Well, Galveston boasted one of America's major ports, serving as a hub for substantial trade and wealth. As the city flourished and its local economy thrived, it became evident that a new shipping channel linking Galveston to nearby Houston was necessary. This involved extensive dredging, and the construction of two jetties and a dike designed to prevent sediment and silt from obstructing the channel. However, despite the completion of these protective structures in the late 1890s, Galveston's vulnerability to natural disasters remained a pressing concern. In 1900, the city was struck by one of the most devastating hurricanes in U.S. history, resulting in the tragic loss of thousands of lives. While the memory of this catastrophe has faded for residents, it remains etched in the minds of millions, as another destructive hurricane ravaged the region over a century later. In 2008, Southeast Texas experienced the devastating impact of Hurricane Ike, unleashing winds exceeding 100 miles per hour. This catastrophic storm resulted in numerous casualties and wreaked havoc on the region, causing nearly $30 billion in damages. Galveston, in particular, bore the brunt of the storm's fury. A storm surge of the highest magnitude in almost a century surged over 15 miles inland, while 34 counties were declared disaster areas. As the chaos settled and the recovery process began, the focus shifted to preventing such a catastrophic event from recurring in the future. Given the magnitude of the destruction, the solution needed to be substantial, something befitting the Texan spirit. It had to be done in true Texas style. The massive project in question is none other than the renowned Ike Dyke. It has earned this moniker as part of a comprehensive endeavor aimed at providing enhanced protection to hundreds of miles of Texas coastline in the face of future disasters. However, this ambitious initiative comes with a significant price tag, estimated at a staggering $31 billion. Approximately half of this colossal budget has been allocated for the construction of the dike itself, which surpasses the conventional concept of a mere seawall. The visionary plan involves the creation of an enormous system comprising gates, barriers, man-made beaches, and dunes that will span the entirety of Galveston Island and the Bolivar Peninsula. This extensive undertaking is poised to transform the coastal landscape, fortifying it against potential calamities. In fact, the comprehensive plan to construct a new coastal spine for the region draws inspiration from the playbook of the Netherlands. Alongside the gate system, the project encompasses the creation of miles of man-made beaches and dunes, enhancements to the existing Galveston seawall, and the restoration of damaged ecosystems. To safeguard the city itself, a ring barrier will be erected, featuring flood walls, gates for highways and railroads, and a new drainage system equipped with pump stations. This infrastructure will facilitate the movement of water from within the barrier back out into the bay. The scope of the project is extensive, contributing to its anticipated lengthy implementation. The construction of the main gate system alone is projected to span approximately 18 years. Significantly substantial progress has already been made. The development of the plan itself required a comprehensive study spanning six years. 
with a multi-million dollar investment. This study was conducted collaboratively by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Texas General Land Office, overseen by George P. Bush, the current Texas Land Commissioner and nephew of former President George W. Bush. While the outcome of the comprehensive study is undeniably impressive, several obstacles must be overcome before the commencement of the project. The Ike Dyke Initiative is just one component of the new Water Resources Development Act, which is currently undergoing the legislative process in the U.S. government. Although Congress has granted approval for the act, there are still details to be finalized before it can be signed into law by the president. Another aspect that requires attention is the issue of funding for the project. It is anticipated that the funding will follow a similar distribution pattern to that of comparable projects, with approximately 65% sourced from the federal budget, and the remaining 35% from local budgets. This would entail the state of Texas contributing roughly $10 billion. However, this financial commitment is not anticipated to pose a significant challenge. The reason being that this massive undertaking aims to protect not only the residents of Galveston and their properties, but also the hundreds of petrochemical facilities situated in the Houston-Galveston region, including some of the largest oil refineries in the entire United States. Given the critical economic importance of the area and the support of Texas politicians, there is confidence in the ability to raise the necessary funds. The Ike Dyke project is emerging as one of the most significant and crucial construction endeavors among the many large-scale projects the United States is poised to undertake. While it is valid to assert the importance of every scheme aimed at enhancing America's infrastructure, the necessity for a project like Ike Dyke becomes evident when one examines the extent of damage incurred in its absence. The year 2008 served as further evidence that even the world's wealthiest economy remains susceptible to the devastating forces of nature when adequate preparedness measures are lacking. Now, the hope rests on the assurance that when the next formidable storm strikes, Texas will be fully equipped and prepared to withstand its impact. The magnitude and significance of Ike Dyke underscore the urgent need for robust and resilient infrastructure to safeguard lives, properties, and economic stability in the face of natural calamities. And that brings us to the end of this journey exploring the $31 billion seawall to save the Texas coast, the remarkable Ike Dyke project. We hope you've been captivated by the ingenuity, scale, and determination showcased in this incredible endeavor. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content only here on Superstructures. See you in the next video!